Howdy folks, welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. I'm Ryan Spearman. This is volume 13 of the Clawhammer Banjo series. Thanks for joining me. In this volume, we're going to study waltz time strategies for the Clawhammer Banjo, something that is quite often ignored um, in the Clawhammer style. So we're going to give you a couple ideas on how you could take a rhythmic or melodic approach in these next few lessons. So grab your banjos and let's make some noise. All right, let's get down to business here on this often overlooked aspect of clawhammer banjo playing, which is waltz time or 3-4 time playing. Um, some of you may have had the same experience that I've had, which is um, that many clawhammer players, especially those in the traditional old-time tune world, tend to use the clawhammer style exclusively, but then when faced with a tune in 3-4 time, which is also known as waltz, um, they tend to either set the banjo down or uh, move into another style, more of a European plucked style like the two finger or the three finger. Um, and those are those are the most common scenarios I've seen and experienced in, in the Clawhammer banjo world. And I myself, being a multi-instrumentalist and someone who has played different styles on different instruments, would tend to in the past always just grab another style uh, maybe pick up a different instrument when it's time to, to play a waltz and put the claw hammer aside. But as it turns out, there's no good reason really to uh, to avoid playing in 3-4 time on the claw hammer banjo. And it's actually, uh, especially in our basic strumming, it's a really, really simple adaptation to our, to our previous techniques that we've been doing with the right hand. You're going to find um, if you've been following along through all the volumes, you're going to find this would be a really simple adaptation if the waltz time is new to you. Um, so what we'll start with is showing you some of the basic scenarios you're going to come up with as far as strumming variations on your right hand patterns. And then once we get that, we'll put that into play. We'll put it behind a melody, um, which could always, of course, be a vocal melody or a fiddle melody or some other lead instrument. Show you how to knock some chords around in the waltz style behind a melody. And then finally, ultimately, maybe not in this lesson, but ultimately we'll teach you how to play some melodic style. And remember, I like to make the distinction between the rhythmic and the melodic style claw hammer banjo playing. Um, we'll do that in the, in the realm of waltz time as well. So we'll grab your banjos and we'll get on to, uh, on to the first exercise here. We're going to show you the basic strum expanded into a waltz time situation. So now to make sure we're all on the same page, I've got the banjo tuned to a double C tuning and I've got the capo on the second fret. Um, so therefore I've tuned my fifth string up to an A. This should all be familiar to you by now. We have a double C tuning, but I've tuned this up to the key of D. Now obviously we can do this waltz time strumming in any tuning, any key. This is just our sample. I wanted to put it in this tuning for you because we're going to do a little song in a minute here. And uh, this is the key I wanted to try to do it in. Uh, so anyway, we're going to start with our basic strum. So in order to do that, we're going to take our home chord. Since we're in the double C tuning capoed up, we're going to need to fret that second fret on the first string to get our home chord. And then we're going to take just a basic strum. Here's the most basic thing you can do to expand your claw hammer strum, as we know it, into a 3-4 time strum. Um, usually when we play boom, chicka, we're taking up two beats. If we counted it in the formal musical style, it would be one and two and. That would be our boom would be one and. Our chicka would be the two and. One and two and. 
And that would get us half the way through a measure of 4, 4 time. A measure of 3, 4 time is just 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So our, our little strum, which is a two unit idea, isn't going to fit into a, a three beat measure. So all we have to do is extend one of those beats. So the basic way to do it, remember I like to speak in, in the language we learned the strum in, which is boom, chicka. So we're just going to add a chicka. We're going to go boom, chicka, chicka. 